In this office, we checked out a lot of tech stuff. Not only just smartphone, laptops, but sometimes weird and interesting gadgets. So in today's Curious Tech, we're going to check out this thing. Well, this thing has been showing up in a lot of our videos and probably you have been wondering what this is all about. It's like a fan, but it's not exactly a fan. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV. This is episode 3 of Curious Tech. What I'm holding on my hands right now is known as a 3D hologram fan or 3D hologram display. As you can see, when I spin this, there are LED lights that lights up and you know as it spins really fast, it plays videos that is stored inside the memory. So what's so different as compared to LED panels? Well, here's the thing. When you actually spin extremely fast, you basically don't realize that there are actually blades spinning like a fan. So it's like one flat surface and when videos start playing inside here, it feels holographic. So the, the idea of the video that's stored inside is that it has a black background and you know, LEDs basically can't show black and it turns off the bulbs here. So that's how it becomes so holographic and immersive. So as you can see, this thing here, consists of four blades with LEDs all across. These are extremely high quality LEDs and it displays a resolution of 720 by 720 per unit. So if you want to go up really big, you can actually have this wall here, which all these fans are connected and overlapping each other. And they just become a very immersive holographic wall. So how you upload content into this is that you can upload content via your phone, your PC, or even over the cloud. And this is going to be the future of retail displays and how displays are going to be. So let's do a trial run on this and find out how it works. The installation of this device is actually way more straightforward than an LED panel as you don't require too much of setup apart from uploading content for the very first time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the power cord just like this to the back. There's a couple of ports back there and we're going to just hang it up to the stand. So basically it has a bracket. So it has a bracket here. You just need to hang it up and it just works. So you can mount it to either a stand or drill it right into a wall depending on what kind of setup you want. Now let's check out the smartphone app. So I'm connected to the device's Wi-Fi. So yes, this device sports Wi-Fi connection. That's why it can be connected to the internet for content to be uploaded over to the cloud. So now we are connected via Wi-Fi Direct and this is all the content that I have uploaded to the device's memory card. So in order to add the content, you just need to tap the app button, press the upload button and you can basically choose from images and videos. Yes, it supports a variety of format because this is a media player by Almond. So you can upload your widescreen type of content and it will transcode and convert it into a one by one aspect ratio that might just might not look nice on the device on this device because basically it plays one by one aspect ratios video very well unless you're doing a wall on the back so that you can play widescreen videos. So you do have a couple of controls here. I like a media player. You can arrange the sequence by tapping and just arrange it uh, up and down. You can actually pause the content. You can you can delete the content. You can uh, uh, you can set how many times you want to play, and that's pretty much about it. The app is actually pretty straightforward. And let's turn on and find out how it looks like. One, two, three, on. Impressive, isn't it? This is fan traction, a holographic display or holographic fan. So while it seems all too perfect, there are a couple of things that it cannot do. Now, first of all, it's native audio output. So the manufacturer tells me that they do have already have a workaround that can output sound from this device, but that's actually a workaround, which I, I'm not sure what is that yet. And the second thing is that this device is not IP certified splash proof or waterproof. So you can't use this outdoor without a case. And speaking of safety, yes, the case is the safety measure. If you're worried of someone touching it, you know, at eye level and you don't want people to get hurt, putting on a case is the best solution. 
So, that's pretty much about fan traction in this episode of Curious Tech. Be sure to subscribe to KL Gadget TV for more Curious Tech episodes coming right up and other tech videos that we have on this channel. Follow us on the usual social media channels and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.